my freelance kit, my purse, my uh, vanity. I should get one for my car. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a fun tag video for y'all today. This is the lipstick lover tag. And my sweet friends April from Wanna Makeup and Mallory from Mallory1712 tagged me to do this video and they also came up with the tag. So they came up with all these questions and they're really good questions and they're kind of challenging. Like I really had to look through my lipsticks and really like sit down and concentrate and do some research to come up with my answers to these questions. So I'm excited about it though because I am a lipstick lover. I love me some lipstick and I love these girls. They are just the sweetest, funniest, most genuine people. So I'm so excited that they tagged me. I'm excited to do this video. So let's get into it. Okay, question number one is most underrated lipstick. So honorable mention for this question would be Lipstick Queen. I almost picked that one. I really do like their lipsticks. I have a couple of their nudes and I think they're really nice and I really don't hear a lot of people talk about them. So Lipstick Queen would be an honorable mention, but I have to go with a drugstore brand because I'm a drugstore girl at heart. So I would say Rimmel lipsticks. You know, they're not super underrated, but I feel like they kind of get overshadowed by Maybelline, CoverGirl, um, even sometimes Wet n Wild, which I love all those brands. I really do. But I really, I especially love Maybelline. Like Maybelline's amazing. But I feel like Rimmel is really, really good and it just doesn't get as much attention as the others. So I have a lot of favorites. I mean, they have the ones in the red tubes that are nice, like kind of matte ones. They have the ones in the black tubes, which are just kind of like a nice cream finish. They have the nudes line now, so love them all. And they have like pinks. This is the one that I'm wearing right now. This is number 33. They have pretty pinks. And then they have like really nice dark vampy colors. This is number 30. Really, really pretty. You got reds. This one's a red. Um, nice kind of brown colors. And then, of course, all the nudes. Every nude you would ever want. I have a whole swatch video on all these nudes. So I love them. And they're super affordable. I think around usually four to six dollars. So crazy affordable and really good lipsticks. Question number two is favorite discontinued lipstick. And I had to really think about this one and I have a pick and then I also have an honorable mention. So my pick would be Max Lavender Whip. And this one was from some spring collection. It didn't have fun packaging, which it would be even better if it had fun packaging, but I just love this color. This was really one of the very first kind of pinky purpley lavender sort of lipsticks that I really like felt comfortable wearing and it's just so pretty. It's a really beautiful kind of cream finish. I just love it because it's kind of right in between pink and lavender. So I think that's why I felt comfortable with it. So I love Lavender Whip. And then my honorary mention is actually from April. She was so sweet to find this for me and send it to me. This was from a Maybelline limited edition collection. Super cute packaging. I think this was for, for their um, anniversary. This is in Purposeful Mauve and it is just a beautiful, it's not really a mauve. I don't really know why it's called mauve. It's kind of just really a nude, like a beautiful nude. It looks too warm to be a mauve in my opinion, but it's a beautiful color. So that's why it's an honorable mention. Oh my goodness. I would love if they brought this back and made this permanent because this is like a never fail you, go with everything, beautiful nudie color. Number three is lipsticks that you have backups of or have repurchased. So I was gonna say Max Cream Cup, which I do love this one. I actually have not repurchased it. I This was kind of a hard question for me because I really couldn't think of a lot of lipsticks that I've repurchased because I have a lot of lipsticks. So I really don't repurchase them often, but I definitely would repurchase Cream Cup and it is a go-to for me. I just love it. It's a really nice nudie color, but I'm kind of cheating for my official answer of this question. I'm gonna go with a lip liner. This is Jordana's Easy Liner for Lips and Tawny. I talked about this a bajillion times on my channel and I purchased it and repurchased it a bajillion times. I have it everywhere. I have it in my freelance kit, my purse, my uh, vanity. I should get one for my car. <laughs> I should have one everywhere because I love this liner. It literally just goes with everything. And I mean, sometimes like if I have, you know, limited space in my purse or whatever, I will just bring this liner and this can be a lipstick too. Like you can just fill in your lips and it's perfect. It's just a beautiful warm nude color and it goes with so many different things. 
and it's super, super affordable around, I think, two or three dollars. So I love my Tawny. I can't be without her. Number four is favorite lipstick packaging. And I have to agree with April. This is what she picked for this question too. I have to go with the YSL lipsticks because they are just beautiful. I feel like they're so unique and just detailed. And they're just one of those lipsticks that you could just set this out on display because they're just so pretty to look at. And they're weighty and fancy and they have a fancy price tag, but they look fancy. So love the packaging on these. Number five is favorite liquid lipstick brand. And I have to go with Ofra. I picked one of my favorites to show you. This is in Manhattan. This is such a beautiful color. We're not talking so much about the color, but I love this one. But the formula on these, it's just so good because it's more comfortable. It's not as drying. These do move a little bit more, so you're going to need to probably like check your teeth a little bit. But once they set, they really don't move very much. What I like about these is that they're not like the typical lip liquid lipsticks where they're either there or not there, and then you get the weird line or whatever. These are a little bit, they have a little bit more movement, so they're not so crazy with the line. I mean, you get it a little bit, but nothing like the others, and they're just so much less drying. So I love the Ofra ones and they have so many different color options. Whatever you're looking for, they probably have it. Number six is favorite lip combo, liner, lipstick, and gloss. So this is the combo that I picked. It's just a really pretty pink lip combo, which I'm all about a pink lip. So this is one of my favorite combos, but I love these all individually too. I think they're all beautiful by themselves. So the liner is Jordana's Easy Liner for Lips in Baby Berry, another Jordana lip liner. These are so good. And then the lipstick is the Maybelline Creamy Matte in Blushing Pout, a really beautiful pink. And then the um, gloss is the NYX Butter Gloss in Meringue. So here they are all swatched. So Baby Berry is a little bit deeper and kind of more of like a true berry where the um, lipstick, the Maybelline lipstick, and then the gloss, these are more of kind of like a cool toned, almost, especially this one, almost like a purpley sort of a pink, just really, really pretty. So these are really, really close in color. Like these like look like they're totally made for each other and made to go together. And then you bring in Baby Berry and it gives just a little bit more dimension and depth to the lip look. So I love them all together, but I also love them individually. Number seven is lipstick that is always in your purse that you have to take on vacation. This was another hard one because there were a lot that I could have picked for this one, but I went with Maybelline's Creamy Matte in Lust for Blush. This is one that if I'm not sure what to bring on vacation or what lipstick I wanna wear for the day, or I just want a lipstick to stay in my purse that's gonna go with a lot of different things, I love this one because it's a beautiful pink, but I feel like it's muted enough and neutral enough to kind of go with a lot of different things, a lot of different makeup looks, different outfits. It's just, it's very versatile. And I feel like it's also very appropriate. Like it's a pretty pink, but it's also not a bright, crazy pink. So I really love this one. Can you tell I love the creamy mattes? They're amazing. These in the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips are two of my go-to lip products. This last one's kind of funny. This is a lipstick that you regret buying. And I picked Narcissus Dominique, and it's kind of funny because when I bought this lipstick, like it had a lot of hype around it. I was really excited about it, and then I've never worn it. Like I think I've put it on a couple of times and then never worn it out of the house because I've just never felt very comfortable in it. But now that I just put it back on, I'm like, maybe I could get comfortable with it. So I don't know. So I regretted buying it because it's a pricier lipstick and I just was never getting any use out of it. But maybe I will remedy that at this point because it is a really cool, unique color. But, you know, it's a little bit zombie-esque. I look a little bit dead in it, but you know, maybe with an edgy outfit, maybe I'll feel okay in it. We will see. But that's my pick for this question. All right guys, so that wraps up all the questions to this tag. So hope that you really enjoyed it. I thought it was a blast doing it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I'm gonna tag some friends down below, but if you're watching this video, you are officially tagged. I would love to see your videos, hear your answers. If you don't make videos, just let me know some of your answers down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.